my name is Jordan Kohanum. I am an English language arts teacher. I teach at Milton High School. I think one of the biggest difference with remote teaching is that I don't get to see the face-to-face -face interaction with students that I'm used to. I'm recording myself and then speaking to students and then leaving what I call my virtual classroom door open. I will see them two to five at a time when they come in through my virtual classroom door. It's not necessarily a bad thing because I'm able to give a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help for the kids that really need it. And the kids who are more advanced are able to kind of go off in the direction that they need to go to, which can actually be a really good thing. In this instance, because I'm not directly in front of my students, I kind of have to use my powers of engagement in an, an entirely new and different way. So I have to give them videos that are, hey, this is a lot of fun, you should do it this way. Um, or when you're annotating a book, this is how you do it, this is why I do it. So a lot more back end loading as far as this is the reason we're doing it, this is how it's gonna help you later on. One of the aspects that's often missed is those really important conversations that we have with our students on a day-to-day -day basis that are just check-ins, like, how you doing? How you feeling? Are you okay? Like, stuff's crazy right now. And so one of the things that I make sure to do is every day I send out a check-in that's like, this is how I'm dealing with it, and this is what I'm doing, and, you know, yesterday was hard. Having kids that know that you're invested in them makes them invested in you just naturally. I think one of the greatest things is, you know, through all of this technology and having to learn very quickly, watching teachers that I've known for a long time, watching them shine and grow and learning new things with the kids, that's probably one of the greatest things that's come out of this.